Good evening. Good evening. Please stand. Join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to our nation's colors and remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. something that will be very interesting to all of us. You know, the concept of kindness is something that in our culture today is not necessarily either recognized or supported or expected. And to have an evening like tonight sends, I think, a clear message about the importance of this in our school system and the importance of giving young people that understanding and that opportunity to actually do an act of kindness. And so it should be a fun night, it should be a very interesting night, and once again on behalf of the board, 
Mr. Pieces, who have already been introduced. We thank you for being here, and we hope you have a good, as good a time as we think you will. Thank you. Good evening and welcome. We are excited to welcome you this evening for the first ever Granville County Schools District Night of Kindness. As educators, we are constantly striving to help our students achieve excellence, not only in academics, but also in their character and who they are as people and citizens. As good educators, we always like to have a plan for how to make things happen. So how do you teach kindness? If you're a first year teacher or you're even a veteran teacher, maybe if you're trying to teach kindness to kids, the first thing you do is go to Google and type in lesson plan for kindness. Um, you may come up with a sense of uh, different activities. This could include things like um, doing a bucket filler activity on the first day of school, um, having kids color in pictures of things that say it's cool to be kind, um, maybe handing out actual ideas to kids of ways they can be kind, like picking up an elderly neighbor's groceries or saying nice things to your friend when they're sad. Um, so we can think of, as a teacher in a classroom, all different ways we can try to teach kids to be kind. But for students to truly understand kindness and the impact and importance it can have on individuals and in the world, students need to experience it firsthand in their own lives. So tonight, we are here to celebrate our students' true experiences of how kindness impacted their lives. These experiences shape them as people and help them see how no act of kindness is too small. The students we hear from tonight are just a small representation of our students across Granville County Public Schools, but the impact of these small acts they have in our students can be truly an impact that can affect the next generation. Um, as we close, we want to share a poem by Carly Dunmair entitled The Kindness Way because um, it really reflects what we hope each of us walk away with tonight and each of our students have. It doesn't matter where you go or who you meet along the way. Carry kindness in your heart and practice it each day. A simple smile can change the course of someone else's week. The smallest gesture represents the gift of joy we seek. A gentle touch reminds us that humanity still reigns. To pet a lonely cat or dog, show the love that will never wane. There are a million obstacles on any given day, but rise above the hate and fear and live life the kindness way. We are excited and we know you are to hear our students talk about how the models of kindness within our community have impacted their lives. Simple acts every day can have that generational change. And we hope tonight is just a small event that can lead to that change going forward within our community. Thank, Thank you. Good evening. At this time, I would like to call Brianna Self, Legislative <coughs> Elementary School. Thankful for all you do, and I appreciate how you don't assign me any chores. 
Ian and Beth, for your time to do some. Thank you for coming to all my special events and field trips when Dad could not. You have not only been my mom, because you have also been my best friend over the years, and you have also been the best best friend I ever could ask for. Also, if you're having a crappy day, this letter can make your day a, a lot better, knowing that I am grateful for what you do for me. Love, Brianna. Westbrook from C.G. Cradle Elementary School. Dear Best Mom Ever, In class today we were talking about kindness, and I thought about you, because you did something that I thought was amazing. So one day we were driving to my grandma's house. And you stopped the car instantly and went across the street. At that time, I had no clue what was going on. But then I saw it. A man was in a car that had crashed into a tree. You helped the man that was in the accident. You called 911. You called the young guy's parents and made sure that he was safe. He also had a big bump on his head, and he looked like he was 21 years old. When the police came, we left. If you had not been there, that man would be really injured. If you were not there, I would not be reading this right now. I know that you were a hero that day for saving the young man, and you will always be my hero too. Since you did that wonderful thing, that made you a leader, and now I want to be that type of leader too. Sincerely, your loved daughter, Mary Keats Westbrook. Westbrook, if you would come this way, um, there's some stairs on this side. No, I cannot Naya Williams from Creedmoor Elementary School. Dear Mom, you had breast cancer, but you have been the best mom to me. Nobody will be the best mom like you. Even when you're sick, you still provide for me. Even when you're on your cane, you still do stuff for me. You cook, you wash, you drive. Even when I have practiced far, far away, you, you, I mean, and you know you're not supposed to, you still give me hugs and kisses. Like, when I'm sleeping in the daytime, you ask me what do I want to eat, and you drive to Subway or something, but you still provide for me. You're important to me because you are always there for me and will always be. You're that one of a kind, caring person, and God bless you for that. Nobody will be there like you in the world for me. You, you're my superhero 
have you always been. Your name is Spider Mom and sometimes Super Mom. All that I, all that I want from you is love, and I just want to thank you with all my heart for what you have done for me. <coughs> Our next speaker is Riley Forbes from Joe Tola Elementary School, but I believe that Mr. Allen told me that she was not able to make it, so he is going to read on her back. Hey. This letter from Ms. Ms. Forbes. She's uh, wrote it to Ms. Cash. Ms. Cash has been doing uh, pictures with the kids for the past three years, and she wrote this letter. Dear Mrs. Cash, Mrs. Blackwell, fourth and fifth grade class, I'd like to thank you for sharing your expertise in art with us. We'd also like to thank you for showing us kindness and enthusiasm with the students. The students here at Joe Toto Kill enjoyed your painting lessons, and we hope that you enjoyed teaching us. You have shown us lots of warmth and care, so we want to show you how grateful we are. We appreciate all the hard work and making the students feel delightful and joyful. We will treasure the paintings that we have painted with you, especially the last one, the opening year and the final year of our school. Sincerely, Riley Forbes. Our next student is Mariah Chavis from Mount Energy Elementary School. I am thankful for every 
lovely thing that you ever did for me. That is why I think you are my influential person. Okay, would Miss Sheila Bland please come forward? responsibility in raising me. You are always dependable and you are both great role models for me. Sincerely, your loving daughter. Okay, at this time would Mr. Chad and Miss Nicole Keegley, Ms. Kaigley. Keegley? Kaigley. Aunt Jess, Jessica, I'm writing this to you to tell you and then or to thank you for how much your kindness has impacted me. Every time I come over, you always ask me about my life and if I'm doing good. When I'm sad about something, you always tell, you can always tell, and you are the only person I really can explain my troubles to. You always host big parties and invite the whole family over. But when everyone's over, 
you are the one that wants to hug or hang out with me. When I'm lonely, you notice and talk to me and joke around, and then I forget what I'm upset about. When me and Tyler, my brother, come to your house to stay the night, you play games with us, and you take care of us like we were your kids. When it's time for our cousin, Lily, to come over, you make sure we are all safe, and you watch us and make sure we're happy. When we leave from your house, I get sad, but you make me so happy that I know I'll come back. I just need to tell you that your kindness, caring, and love has brought me so far in life. Thank you. Sincerely, Maddie. So at this time, if Miss Jessica Limple would come forward. I think everyone deserves to know how kind you are. Not just to me, but to everyone. One time I remember when I needed my hair done for a drum line performance, you did my hair. You took the time out of your day to do my hair, and it looked good. <laughs> when I needed new shoes, you got me a new pair. You didn't need to do that, but she still did. Once my dad needed a jumper cable, you and your husband gave my dad some for the next time that it happened. When kids at my after school program needed help with their homework, you helped. You didn't have to do any of that, but you did because it's right for you to do. And I think you are very kind, and I love you for that. Thank you. Thank you for adopting me. Thank you. Though adoption has been a curse and a blessing, 
a blessing because I have such a wonderful and loving parent and a person who does well. Being adopted means that your biological parents didn't care enough for either they just didn't want me. Heck, I see why they don't want me. The little part of me always believed that I was a burden or that nobody really wanted me and you only adopted me because you felt that it was the right thing to do. Then I saw how much you cared over these past years by buying things I need, mean, caring for me and every wonderful thing I've you've done. Though I've been hurt many times, not physically but mentally, I've had many of the losses like Papa, Hammer, and Stitch. I know that Stitch and ha Hammer are animals, but they were the most wonderful things that ever happened to me, especially Papa. Yet even though you left this world, I still miss him, and he comes to my mind quite often, but the only reason I got through this is that it's because of you. You kept saying that it's going to be all right, and though I never believed it's going to be all right, you gave me the comfort. You made me feel extremely welcome, and thank you for that. pleasure to, inter to introduce Elisa Hester. She's a sixth grader at Mary Potter Middle School. She's the daughter of Reverend and Mrs. James and Brandy Hester. Please help me welcome Elisa. <laughs> Oh, I don't 
Uh, it's truly emotional. <laughs> Let's give her another round of applause. Okay, at this time we will have Carissa Burdine from um, Butler Stem Middle School. Dear Mr. Tim, I just wanted to write you this letter because I think you have done a lot for our community and you are nice, funny, and helpful. You have helped our community by arranging, arranging a tournament that was located at Butterston Middle School that helped raise money for our school band so that we could go to, on a field trip. You have helped the community by letting kids from your martial arts school go to tournaments to get a feel of what it might be like if they were to participate in one and sometimes even participate. You have also helped the community by doing parents not out from the parents who need a break from their children for a little bit or when they need something done. You have helped the community by doing something summer camps where we can go on foot trips and have fun. You have helped the community by doing camps for people on breaks or people that don't have school. You are nice because you pick people up from their school and take them back to the Taekwondo. You are fighting because whenever somebody isn't really good, you try to cheer them up with your jokes. I am very lucky to be part of your family Taekwondo Martial Arts School, and I have made a lot of great friends while being there. Thank you for all that you do. Mr. Bilbo, will you please come up? <laughs> we will next have Ms. Kylie Abbott from Granville Academy. Sometimes I can be a handful and a lot to deal with, but no matter what, you were always there for me. There is so much I can thank you for, but I don't have enough room, I don't have enough room to write everything. Most of all, I want to thank you both for my best friend Rocky. I know you've been over backwards to get him for me and support us on the drill team and in the show ring. Sometimes you have to get up early on your days off and spend long days hauling Rocky and me everywhere, from Benson to Pokemon and in between. You spend so much time with me, trying to make me the, trying to make me the best, the, trying to make me do my very best. Even when you know it's going to be something difficult or something I might not be able to do or win, you both still push me and tell me to try my hardest to do the best I can because you believe in me. I've learned so much from our time together, riding horses, and my meal, Mama. I know that sometimes. I scare you to death way up there around and fast. But I'm so glad you let me you let me be me anyway. Daddy, I know sometimes you get tired of holding the reins, but I'm glad I'm glad you do. I just wanted y'all to know that I love y'all and thank y'all both for doing the best you can raise. Mr. Eddie and Shannon Abbott, please join us. Dear Ezekiel, 
You are always there for me, so I wanted to say thank you. When I am sad, you come and give me a hug. When I am angry, you come to me and smile. You make me happy. We can jump on a trampoline and we jump in the air. You run in circles and I chase you. You taught me how to take the higher, high road because you can do great things even, even with your gifts. Even though you can't speak, you can speak to me. You don't use words, but I can feel what you're saying. A tap on the head means how was your day? And sometimes we do use your device, but, I, but you and I use body language. Like when everybody said you was fine, but I knew you was, you was sick and I helped you. You were like my other half. We have the same outfits, we like the same things, and that's why we have those changes to say you're my other half. You make my day, you make my day happy when it's down, you turn my bad days around, and you make my good days even better. You are always there for me, so I always will be there for you. Love is right. Ezekiel, will you join us on stage? Lancaster are leaving us this Sunday and going to an internship 
for a few months that will help them to become better leaders in the church. If I wouldn't have been so shown such kindness by him and his wife, I would not be involved in such a great community, and I would not have as many of I would not know as many of the things as I know today. He has been a great role model for me, and has changed the way I thought about things, and has helped me to be more helpful for others. He and his wife, and a family of two sons, have become a very important part of our church and a great friend. We will keep in touch with them and hope that they visit. not able to join us this evening, but I'm sure that even his family will make sure that he makes it. Thank you. We will now have Miss Summer Evans from Phoenix. which is at our primary school. Attending the Phoenix Academy has changed me in a lot of different ways. The staff are amazingly helpful. helpful. They make sure I have everything I need and they encourage, they encourage and motivate me to do better. Since I've been here at Phoenix Academy, I have a more positive attitude and I've learned how to control my emotions and I know how to work with others. And that's all because of them. They have shown me ways to, they have shown me ways to deal with my issues. When I was at my Facebook, Northern Grumble, I, I always used to tell myself that I'll never succeed and that I'll, I would never make A.B. on the road. When I got sent to Defense Academy, I was like, wow, I still can't do it, and I'm in small class. Other students were making student of the week, and I would ask them, how did you do that? I was shy, but I wasn't trying hard enough. I wasn't focused. I was always worried about what was going on outside of school. Then I told myself that I wanted to make my family proud, so I got my mind right. I stopped missing so many days, and I started taking tests more seriously. My grades, my grades started improving. Then I finally got student of the week twice in a row. I was so proud of myself. I'm not going to say was because I'm still proud of myself. I worked even harder and made every honor roll, so anybody can do it. You just have to want to do it. I am thankful for the Fizz Academy staff, and I love them all sincerely. So many. Staff of Phoenix Academy, please come up and accept this award. I know that if I need a shoulder to cry on, you will be there. 
One of the encouraging lessons that I will never forget is to take risks, even when it's terrifying. You have given me, safe, given me a safe place to feel and even break down and cry. You will always put you always put people before you because of how selfless and kind natured you are. I will always be full of gratitude towards you for helping me out and getting my senior portraits taken. Without any cost, you found a way to help me out due to the economic situation. I don't know if any other person would do that for me, but you were there and you are you are always there. I just cannot express everything you did for me because there is just too much. Most, import most importantly, I thank you for inviting me to your home where I feel su such a sense of peace. I see how there is so much love, care, and support between members of your family. The times I have slept over, your family welcome welcomes me with love. I have never felt left out because your family includes me as if I were part of them. I have learned to love them with all my heart, and I am thankful they are part of my life. You should always be full of gratitude because we never know when our last day can be in seeing people who mean so much to us. Not only should we care and love our friends and family, but also people who are around us. Let's be thankful for everyone, even if we don't know them. But it's important to love one another. Thank you for being like a mother to me, and you will always be in my heart. You are one in a million. Sincerely, Sipoli Garcia. Deanna Reagan, please join us.
Okay, at this time I'd like to call Ms. Michaela Hargrove from Jeff Webb High School. Dear Coach White, I want to thank you for helping me to I want to thank you for helping me to make me the young that I am today. You have shown me the real side of being a kind person, even if I won't, even if it was just as an athlete, student, or just a ch being a child. I can't use enough words to describe how much I needed a father figure in my life, and God turned around and gave me you. I think I have never seen a man who would take 15 or more girls and show them love on and off the court. When I first met you, I thought you was the meanest person. <laughs> but once, once you became my basketball coach and you taught me the game, my whole thoughts would change, coach. You, have, you don't know the impact you have on me. The way you come in, the room and start speaking to everyone just makes practice even better. You don't treat anyone any different than you treat the other kids. And I don't know if you're good with with girls because you have a daughter. But I just want to want you to know that you're the best second father I have. It's it's really it feels like four years has gone by fast and now look at me, I'm a senior and about to leave. You can have you have given up you never you could have given up on me, but you no matter how many layups I missed or how many rebounds I missed, you just told me to keep going. And I'll get it next time. You know what I did? I got it next time. Because you kept pushing me to be great. The discipline you taught me and the other girls changed our lives for better. Because, because our lives were better. Now we know how to be professional and handle our business, but at the same time have fun. The prayer that we say before every game has helped me do everything and more. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and forgive us those who are trespassing against us. And leave us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Matthew 6, 9 through 13. That one prayer has made my life so much better. I have always wanted to, I, just, I have always wanted to tell you my story and show you how much I appreciate you for just being there for me when my own father wasn't there. From growing up, only seeing my father once a year to now having someone come around every day just makes me whole again. I know that I can't replace my father, but you make that spot, you make a big impact on that spot in my life. I have never really had a bond with the older man, but other than my uncle, until you show me that I can trust you. I <coughs> I really appreciate you for being there for me and pushing me to be better, be a better basketball player. I thank you for buying the team things that came out your own pockets because you didn't have to do that. And no, I know it's not about material things, but about what comes from the heart. I hope that next year is a great year, but but even better. You and the team were my other family to me. When I needed to get away, practice became my safe place, and when I forgot about where well, I forgot about everything that's going around around me, and that's something I know. That's something I will really miss, and even more, I miss you. I hope you keep being the the man God wants you to be, and keep praying to me, to Him, because He has something in store for you. I just thank you for being the best coach ever to me, and my favorite coach. <coughs> you have to promise not to tell you when I said that. <laughs> I wish you in the team best wishes, and I hope that everyone has a healthy career. You, you never know, I might be the next athlete training for one of your teams to you still coaching when I get finished from college. I love you, coach, and I always will. I ask you to never forget me. Love you, Kayla.
proclaimed the same over the years. I know you mean it with all your heart because you make an effort to show it. Coming to the South Gamble, I had a large shadow cast over me by my highly respected teacher of a mother and by my brother, with whom I knew you were very good friends. That left me with some bitty, pretty big shoes to fill. Yet you never once made it feel that way. You helped, me make, you helped make me feel like I was covering my own path. Thank you, Coach, for letting me fill in my own shadow here at South Gamble instead of making me feel like I had to fill in someone else's. Thank you for constantly being someone I know I can trust and for always being for always being willing to be there to help. Thank you for teaching me how to be a lion and how to never stop wanting to be better. of Maya Angelou, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. On behalf of our entire Granville County Public Schools family, my illustrious Board of Education, our administrators, and all students in this district who wrote someone we would like to just say thank you. Thank you for helping us not only emphasize academics, but emphasize good character. In Granville County Public Schools, we want to build good people. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we've seen a real act of kindness. So if you were one of the 20 individuals who received a friendship rose, will you please stand right where you are? Let's give it a We thank you for making a difference in a child's life in some way. Now, if you were one of the readers this evening, will you please stand? We would like to personally thank you because you were the student selected out of your entire student body to represent your school this evening and to represent every young person in that school. And you stood up here with pride and honor and dignity and with a great deal of courage to do something that is rare today, and that is to say, thank you. So before we all leave, just look at your neighbor and say thank you, because I know they've done something. Thank you. to us, to our educators, to our school leaders, to everyone helping raise this next generation, I would like to say thank you. You're doing an incredible job, and tonight is indicative of all of your work. So on behalf of our Board of Education, all educators, to everyone on the program tonight, thank you. And just to show a little appreciation, we have a reception for you as you exit the auditorium this evening. Take time to mix and mingle and show a little kindness. Thank you again for coming out tonight for our very first <laughs> night of kindness. <laughs>